Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for a number of years now and today I'd like to share Psalm 101 and here's God's Word. I will sing of steadfast love and justice to you, O Lord. I will make my music. I will ponder the way that is blameless. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. I will look with favor on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Morning by morning, I will destroy all the wicked in the land, cutting off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. Psalm 101, verses 1 to 8. And here's my blog. David's vow to rule with integrity. In verse 2, we get the meaning of someone who has integrity. It means that they will be blameless or someone who does the right thing and have a good moral behavior. In this psalm, we hear David who promises his master to do what is right, but he always begins with worshiping his Lord with a declaration of God's steadfast love and his love to make music for him. Here are some of the promises that he vowed to God as the anointed king. First, to ponder on the way that is blameless and follow God's will in all he does. Second, to walk in good moral behavior that is pleasing to the Lord. Third, to focus only on what is of worth to the Lord and not useless things. And then, to hate those who fall away from God and not have anything to do with them. David also promised to have a pure heart and never let it be perverse, not and not participate in wickedness. He also vowed to destroy all those who slander their neighbors secretly and to not tolerate haughty people, liars and deceivers to destroy all the wicked and cut off all evildoers, and to give favor to the blameless and allow them to be part of his household. What a man of integrity David was. No wonder he's called a man after God's own heart. All these promises he made are all what God requires from his people. He was willing to commit to do these things for the love of his master. He knew his Lord very well and would never compromise his relationship with him. Can we make the same promises to our Lord? Reflection. What happens when a believer doesn't have integrity? Um, I think the word integrity is something that uh, the world looks down upon because uh, if, if the world is focused on self and focused on satisfying their own desires and um, getting as much as they can get from people, then that is the opposite of integrity. As it says in verse 2, it says, I will ponder the way that is blameless. In other words, um, I will... In other words, David was saying that he will always focus and reflect on what is holy and what is pleasing to God. So, what happens when a believer claims they are serving the Lord and yet they do not 
have a commitment to the Lord because this is clearly saying how deep David's commitment is to his master and Lord. Do we have that same depth of commitment? Do we take God seriously? Do we take our our um, being a saved person? A, 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 do we do we take our privileges seriously? We have so much privileges as a believer. So when we do not follow the will of God and then we say that we believe in him, that is lack of integrity. He says in John that how can you say you love me when you don't follow me? And also he says how can you say you love me whom you don't see when you don't love your neighbors around you? So a person with integrity will always take into consideration that commitment that, that he or she made. So just like when you're, you're entering a marriage vow, you vow to commit for better or for worse that whatever happens, you will stick by each other's side. And so when someone breaks the vow, then the marriage breaks down. It, it falls apart. The same way with um, when you claim you're a believer and you're not following um, that commitment, you're not following through all the requirements that because we have requirements when we become believers, we the 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 price of being a uh, a disciple is high, and it says that we need to give up our life, we need to make God first. In other words, no one else is, should come first but God. So when we say we are a believer, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are true believers because we need to have integrity, we need to have honesty, we need to have accountability. Uh, and if we don't care about what God cares about, then we're, we're false. We are like the Pharisees. We are pretenders, you know. We pretend that we are believers and yet we do not act like one you know we don't we don't uh, become the light for people to see uh, who Jesus is or who God is and then and then we just flaunt our statement that we have faith but we really don't so it is very important to have honesty and integrity and that's what's beautiful with David he's so honest He's so sinful and he knows that, but he's so honest and he's so committed to live a blameless life, to live a holy life for the Lord. For the Lord. So I encourage you to reflect on your life if that is a life of integrity or do you live compromised lives? Because your life is compromised when he says here, the first is that you, you should follow you uh, focus on a holy life. So in other words, you do not associate with people who are evil. or you do not partake in that. It says that's in Psalm 1, 1, that blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor seat in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. So those who are true believers, who have integrity, always love the law of the Lord, follow it, and, and, and is, will do their best to, you know, even if they're sinners, they fall, they stand up, and they do, and they think again, and they recommit, and they make sure that they are walking in the way of the Spirit. So what happens when a believer doesn't have integrity? They become fraud. They become deceived. They are liars. They don't have that commitment. They, you know, so it's, they're wishy-washy people. They just go tossed to and fro by whatever comes. So they have no strong foundation. They have no honesty and they have no accountability. So I encourage you to look into this psalm because you will find out what you're not walking in the way of the Lord just as David was walking in the way of the Lord.
So thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.